What if there's a passkey on my lost phone? <laughs> Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com. Here's the question. Regarding passkeys, I have two concerns. One, suppose I lose my device with the only private key I have. How will I be able to restore my account on a new device? Two, when creating a passkey for an existing account, the old password could still be stolen from the server. These are actually pretty common questions uh, as passkeys kind of get rolled out and, and people start to understand exactly what they are. Uh, I will address both of those. The bottom line is that there's really no problem here, uh, but it, understanding exactly why that is, I think, is important to the adoption of passkeys. I personally find them much more secure and much more convenient than traditional passwords. What's a passkey? Well, I actually have an article on that. What is a passkey? There's a video for that as well. But the bottom line here is that passkeys use cryptography instead of passwords to authenticate you. They are more convenient and secure, again, because it's all about cryptography and there's nothing for you to remember. And even better, in cases where this is fully implemented, there's no password to be stolen. It just doesn't exist. This is the situation I have, for example, with my Microsoft account. There is no password. So before we talk about your lost phone, let's talk about how you got a passkey on it in the first place. When you set up a new device, like your phone, the first time you sign into an account, any account, you will have to authenticate some other way. There is no passkey. That other way is usually less convenient. It usually involves an email sent to an account or a text message with a number or any number of other ways. And yes, if this is an account that still has a password associated with it, it might be the password that signs you in that first time. Then you have the option usually to set up a passkey on that device. It's only after that point where the passkey has been created for that account on that device that you can now use the passkey to sign in to that account on that device. What's important to realize here is that every account will have its own passkey. So I would have a, a passkey for my Google account, a passkey for my Outlook.com account, a passkey for who knows what. And that passkey is different on every device. So if I have two phones and I have both of them signed into my Google account and my Microsoft account, there are two passkeys on one phone for Microsoft and for Google. They are different. And there are two other passkeys on my other phone for Microsoft and for Google. They are different from each other. And those two are different from the other two. Each account on each device has a unique passkey. So this actually leads up to answering your question. What happens if you lose your phone? Well, nothing, not really. Whoever finds your phone is going to have to be able to unlock it. That's the magic behind pass keys. If you use a pin to unlock your phone, then when they try to sign into one of your accounts, they will have to know the pin or your face or your fingerprint or whatever it is you use to unlock your phone. But nothing happens to the other devices. And in fact, when you get your replacement phone, it's like setting up passkey from the start. You sign in using some other method. That's it. And in fact, it's even a little bit better than that because one of the things that passkeys do is they keep track of which passkey was assigned to which device. So for example, I lose my phone. I can now go to my Microsoft account and go to a list of all the passkeys that are associated with my Microsoft account. There's this phone that I lost. There's another phone. There's my desktop. It'll be a list. And I can now say, you know, that phone, the one I lost, invalidate that passkey. So that even if someone were to get into your phone, once you disable that passkey, it doesn't work anymore.
they still can't get into your account. Now, you raise a very good question about passwords. And where we are today, I believe, is transitional. The example that I used of Microsoft having a passwordless account, I think, is where we are heading in general. There are many ways to sign into a passwordless account. Most of them are less convenient than a password. But passkeys are not. They're very convenient once you've set them up. Yes, today, if you have multiple ways of authenticating your account, then theoretically, you're only as secure as the weakest one of those. That's why two-factor is so important, because passwords usually are the weakest link. However, we're doing away with those. Passwordless, I believe, is our future, and pass keys are going to be the way to make that more convenient and more secure than passwords ever were. But the fundamental takeaway here, the big thing to realize is that every device has its own set of pass keys and every account has its own unique pass key on that device. I hope that helps explain exactly what's going on here. There is no rush to making pass keys happen. I suggest that you pick an account, perhaps one that maybe isn't as important to you in case things go wrong, and set up passkey. Experiment with it. Learn how it works and what happens in various scenarios. I think in the long run, you'll be very pleasantly surprised. Um, but like I said, today, losing your phone with a passkey on it really isn't that big a deal. For updates, for comments, for links related to this article and more, visit askleo.com slash 171643. I'm Leo Notenboom, and this is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.